many people's pick for fight of the night, Paddy the Hooligan Hulahan taking on Damien Rooney. So it's the bantamweight Grand Prix, Damien the Rage Rooney back in the King's Hall following a knockout last time facing Paddy Hulahan. Paddy is unbeaten and the slight favourite with the bookies. Yeah, I'm a big fan of both of these guys. I can't wait to see this belt. It's one I've been looking forward to now for about a year. This has been my fourth time fighting in the King's Hall. Um, it's a great spot. Um, it's held a lot of great fights and uh, it's a great event, so yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I changed up a lot of things actually for this fight. Um, and touch wood, it's all gone really well. I couldn't ask for anything better. Paddy's a great fighter, you know, he's undefeated, a lot of confidence there. Um, alone, he comes from SBG in Dublin. Um, arguably one of the best clubs in the country with one of the best coaches in John Kavanagh. And so we've trained for the fight everywhere, you know what I mean? I didn't train usually to what you know I think he's gonna do. I'm just gonna concentrate on what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go in there, I'm gonna push the pace and uh, wherever the fight goes or whatever happens, you know, I'm feeling good and I'm, I'm ready to go. I'm only here to win and that's it. Uh, so I'll be having my hand raised at the end of the fight. I, just, I love fighting, that's just what I do and I love the, the emotions involved in it, I love buzzing off body chemicals, <laughs> you want to say. Just, I think this is actually, everyone says it, the best training camp that I've had so far. Um, ten five minute rounds have been introduced twice, uh, twice a week on a Wednesday and a Friday and that's sparred them with MMA gloves and things like that, so you're sparred them with uh, World Champion, National Daily, Conor McGregor, Cotton Pendrick, JMS, Levi Kyo, the list goes on, so I feel like I fought a thousand fights to get to this fight. I um, know well, Damien is he's good everywhere. Like, everybody's good everywhere these days. You know what I mean? If you go in there and you leave a gap, someone's going to fill it. So you better just get in there, put your hands up, stay safe. I know everybody's expecting Paddy to come in and do a big shot. No, it was a lot of chance. We fight everywhere now. Everybody fights everywhere. And it's going to be a good fight. I respect Damien. He's a good game and things like that. But I'm going to punch him in the head. Then, well, I fight with the intent to win. And if not, I'd probably wake up in the dressing room wondering why I didn't get my hand raised. And that's how we fight. Ladies and gentlemen, this contest scheduled for three rounds in the Cage Contender Grand Prix Bantamweight semifinal round. Please welcome your first fighter, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with an undefeated record of seven wins, no losses. He stands five feet six inches tall. He weighed at 134.8 pounds, fighting out of Dublin, Ireland, ladies and gentlemen. And his opponent, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist with a record of eight wins, two losses, and one draw. He stands five feet seven inches tall. He weighed in at 134.1 pounds. Fighting out of Newry, ladies and gentlemen, Damien Rooney. And when the action begins, the referee in charge is Pete Levering. So Pete Lavery ready to take charge of this Bantamweight Grand Prix semi-final. Paddy Houlihan from Dublin, Damian Rooney from Newry, both veterans of the cage contender cage. This is going to be a cracker, Barry. I've been looking forward to this one since it's been announced. The two guys have not taken their eyes off each other since they got in the cage. They've been staring each other down during Brett's announcements, and they're keeping their eyes locked right now. Look at this. Look at Paddy Houlihan just exploding off the cage. Damian just touched his ground. They're going to fly into one another. Will this go the distance? Will it end quickly? We're going to find out right now. Here we go, Cage Contender 13. Don't take your eyes off this one for a second. Rooney in the black and slight camo shorts, black and white shorts for Paddy Houlihan. Oh, quickly, they both punch. Rooney just a glancing blow. With the short right hand, he's a good boxer, Rooney, but Houlihan shouldn't be underestimated. Fires an uppercut. No, we saw Hulham with a good boxing performance against Steve McComb and showing that he can kick too. And Damien already has a bit of blood coming from his lip. Yeah, just a little cut. I think that there, uh, one of the shots just got through ever so slightly. Hulahan really the one pushing the, the action at the moment. Really on the back foot, straight kick from Hulahan. And Hulahan not letting Rooney really rest at all. Oh, oh, straight kick to the head. Slightly. Beautiful kick. Yeah, good range oh. so far. Oh, Rudy is down. It's out. Oh, 
It's over. It's, it's over. Completely knocked out by Paddy the Hooligan Hulahan. He's done it. Rooney doesn't know where he's at. Paddy Hulahan has knocked out Damian Rooney in remarkable circumstances. What a shot! Absolutely incredible, amazing knockout. I am. That is absolutely fantastic. I can't believe it. It's the commentator's curse again. Here's me telling you. You know what? Damian Rooney's got a, got all the skills on the outside, but. Instead, it's Paddy Hulahan who shows his striking prowess. Amazing oh, knockout. didn't he just? We don't see too many knockouts here, especially not in the bantamweight division. My goodness, Damien's still on the ground receiving treatment. He didn't know where he was. Yeah, and I'm uh, just a little concerned about Damien here now at the second. Until we see him stand up again, I, I won't be too... Uh, I won't be too celebrating it too much, but I, I think he's OK. I think it's just stunned more than anything. And in fact, he's able to get to his own feet under his own power, which is nice to see. It's great to see Damien get back to his feet, at least to his haunches. His team just looking after him. He's just not quite sure what had happened there. Great performance from Houlihan. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Referee Pete Lavery calls us up for this contest at one minute, one second in the very first round, declaring your winner by knockout. Okay, what a performance we've just seen. Give him a hand as well for Damian Rooney, please. Paddy. Fantastic performance. Paddy, you were prepared. You were prepared for that to go three rounds if it needed to. But you said you have all the skills. My goodness, didn't you show them tonight? Skills. I remember catching him with the left straight and the upper cook. You see the wobble, and I just knew to track him down. Just, um, I think that's 9-0 now, is it? 8-0, is it? 9-0? Like it's 9-0 here, got ripped off to a draw, so that's a win to me. So that's 9-0. Now, this puts you in the final of the Bantamweight Grand Prix. Artemis Satankov already won his way there. How do you feel about taking him on? I feel good. Well, I know his game plan already. <laughs> so, I've got a long time to work on it, and I'm going to look forward to this fight. I train hard, I do this for my son, for my girlfriend, for my life, just to make me life better. I love this. Thanks everybody for coming out here to the King's Hall. And I tell you what, we'd definitely like to see you again after that performance. Honey, the hell!